Hello, I'm Tony from Bonner's Piano Centre and this is my buyer's guide to the brand new Kawaii ES920 portable piano. So the ES920 replaces the older ES8 model and the first thing you'll notice is that it's been completely redesigned and it has a very contemporary look about it. So the ES920 is portable, it only weighs 17 kilograms and it has a very, very powerful speaker system. So when you first switch on the piano, you get the sound of the SK Concert Grand, which is the Shigeru Kawai Concert Grand piano sound. And this is Kawai's flagship Concert Grand piano, and they've recorded the sound, and that's what you're hearing when you play the ES920. So just take a listen to this piano sound. So as you could hear, really beautiful piano sound. So there are actually a choice of 10 different piano voices in the ES920, and what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna play a few of those for you. So again, starting with the Shigeru Kawai Concert Grand. So in addition to the SK Concert Grand, Kawai have also included their EX Concert Grand piano sound. So it's another model of Kawai Concert Grand, but it does have a very different tonal character. So this is the sound that you've just heard. If I now change to the EX Concert Grand, see it's a much brighter sound. Back to the original. So. The EX Concert Grand I find is very good for perhaps more modern music or pop music. So I'm just going to play something in a different style for you using the EX Concert Grand. So as well as a really great piano sound, when you're buying a new digital piano, you want to consider the keyboard action as well. Now the Kawai ES920 uses their responsive Hammer Action 3 keyboard, and that has a um, slightly textured surface to the white keys, we call it ivory feel, so it's got a slightly textured surface which stops your fingers slipping when you're playing. Um, it's slightly heavier at the bottom and lighter at the top, we call that a graded uh, keyboard. Um, and that's just like an acoustic piano. It's what you'd experience if you were playing a, an acoustic grand piano. Now I've actually got a little model of the uh, responsive Hammer 3 action here. And you can see, I'm not sure if you can see that on the camera, but when you press the key, there's a little hammer that comes up underneath there. Um, it has um, what we call let off, um, which is if you just press the keys very, very gently, you'll just feel there's a little bit of resistance just as you get to the, the bottom of the travel of the key. Um, and again, that is replicating how a traditional acoustic piano works. Now, the, uh, the keyboard itself is, is made of plastic. Don't let that put you off because lots and lots of digital pianos have plastic keyboards. But I can honestly say that I believe that the responsive Hammer 3 action that Kawhi put in their pianos is the best plastic keyboard action on the market and it does feel really good. Um, 
And also what's important is the way that that keyboard interacts with the sound of the piano as well. And the two things complement each other really well. So um, I'm gonna play you um, something else now. This is using one of my favorite piano sounds on the ES920, and this is called the Warm Grand. And it's a, as it says in the title, it's a warmer piano sound. It's slightly mellower um, and really nice for uh, light classics or romantic ballads. So have a listen to the Warm Grand. So a new addition for the ES920 is the graphic equaliser section that you'll see on the top here. Now what this is used for is to change the tone of the piano sound very quickly. So I find this particularly useful if I'm playing on stage with a band and I want my piano sound to maybe cut through the mix a little bit better because I'm competing with other instruments, then you can use this to maybe add a little bit more top end or high frequency to your piano sound, or you can take the bass off if you need to. So um, it enables you to kind of craft your own piano sound on the fly whilst you're playing. And just to give you an example, just listen to how much difference that makes. Again, if I just play a chord here. So that's bringing the graphic equaliser right down. Let's bring up the bass a little bit, so. Roll it off again. Maybe bring up the top end. So it's very easy to manipulate the piano sound to suit the environment that you're using it in. You may find that very useful at home as well, depending on the, the size of the room you're in, you might want to change the overall tone of the instrument. And that's where the graphic equalizer is really powerful. And I think it's a much needed feature. So well done to Kawhi for including that on the ES920. So I'm gonna play another piece of music now. Now this is using uh, the jazz piano. So like I said, there are 10 different acoustic piano sounds in the ES920, and this one has been uh, particularly recorded and uh, manipulated in its tonal quality to particularly suit uh, jazz style playing. So have a listen to this. So as this is a top of the range piano, it has features that you would expect such as keyboard splits. So there are, in total, there are 38 different voices or sounds built into the ES920. And you can split the keyboard wherever you want just by holding down this split button and pressing a key. So I'm gonna press the C key there below middle C. And now what that's done is it's split the keyboard. So if I play the piano here on this side, when I go below the C, I get a different sound. And I've actually selected the sound there of the acoustic bass with the ride cymbal. Now on every single note, there's a the sound of a bass and a ride cymbal. So I've now got the piano on the right, bass and ride on the left. I'm just gonna play a sort of little jazz combo type piece. So as I've already said, there are 38 different instrument voices in the ES920. Let's just take a listen to the orchestral string voice now. So the ES920 also allows you to layer two voices together. So you can take any two of the 38 
voices that are built into the ES920 and layer them on top of each other so that every note actually plays two sounds at once. So to do that, you just hold down two of the sound buttons together. So I've selected piano and strings here. So I've got the string sound that you've just heard with a piano layered over the top of it. And then um, you can also go into the menu and you can change the volume of each of the parts independently. So you could have a little bit less strings and more piano, which is what I like. So I'm just gonna use um, a famous intro to an Elton John song here, just to show you how it sounds when you layer the piano and the strings together. So remember that if you want to come and try an ES920 for yourself, you can come to one of our stores. We have three piano stores, one in Eastbourne on the south coast, one in Rygate in Surrey, just off of Junction 8 of the M25 motorway, and we also have a large store in Milton Keynes as well, near the M1 motorway. So you can compare the ES920 with other products from different manufacturers, just to make sure that you're making the right decision when you're buying a new digital piano. So a handy little function on the ES920 is the registration feature. And what this allows you to do is to set the piano up as you want it. So you might um, split the keyboard or layer two voices together. Um, and then you can store that as what they call a registration. And you have seven buttons for your registrations at the front here, but you've actually got four banks. So you can actually store a total of 28 registrations in the memory of the ES920. And it just makes it very quick to instantly recall your settings for particular songs. So again, if you were gonna be taking this out on the road with you, um, you'll find it very useful to set all your sounds up when you're at home, and then you can just put it into registration mode and recall all your sounds instantly. So the ES920 has a really good selection of sounds. Um, I've shown you some of the acoustic pianos. Like I said, there are 10 different acoustic piano voices, but that also means there are 28 other instrument voices. And that includes the sounds of some classic 60s and 70s electronic piano sounds. You've also got the sound of the harpsichord. Vibraphone. And one of my favorite sounds is the sound of the funky clav. Now, what's often overlooked with Kawai Portable Pianos is the effects section, because you can actually add digital effects to the sounds. And this is what professional musicians do in studios and on stage all the time. So you can do something like you can take an electric piano sound, and if I hold down the effects button here, at the moment it's got something called classic pan effect switched on, which if you're listening in stereo, you should hear the sound is kind of going between the, the two speakers, but if I, Again, hold that down, I can change that to a different effect. So if I choose phaser, let's turn it off so you can turn the phaser back on. It just gives you that more authentic sound. So you can create some of the famous sounds that you'll have heard on records over the last decades. Now, also, there is something called an amp simulator. Now, this is particularly good on the electric piano sounds, so the Fender Rhodes sounds and the Whirly sounds, because um, back in the days, back in the 70s and the 80s, we used to plug our portable pianos, which were actually at the time weren't all that portable, they were very, very heavy things. There was something called the Fender Rhodes, which you may well have seen. Um, and 
you had to plug it into a separate amplifier. It didn't have speakers built in. And very often musicians would um, make that amplifier go into overdrive, so add a bit of distortion to it, like the guitarists would with their amps as well. And it it just gives it the sound a bit more bite and um, a bit more growl. So um, again, if I switch on the amp simulator here, you can choose different types of amplifier. It actually emulates different types of amps. But what I'm gonna do is turn up the overdrive effect and just have a listen to this. Uh, If I turn off the amp, amp simulator, that's without, let's put it back in. So the ES920 is a really credible instrument, whether you just want to use it at home for playing just nice acoustic piano voices, or you want to take it on a road and play with a band and use some of the kind of more contemporary and kind of funky sounds as well. So the ES920 provides Bluetooth connectivity. You've got both audio and MIDI connectivity via Bluetooth. So that means that you can either stream the sound of your mobile device or your tablet through the speakers of the ES920s, you can use this really nice speaker system to play the audio from your telephone. And what's great about that is that you can actually play along with backing tracks. So maybe you'll download something from the internet onto your phone, play it through the speakers, and you can play along with it using the sounds of the ES920. Now, Bluetooth MIDI means that it will interact with any music making apps you've got. So whether it's score writing software, recording software, or perhaps music tuition software, the ES920 using um, Bluetooth MIDI will interact with those apps as well. It has onboard recording as well, so you can store 10 songs in its own memory, but also if you plug in a USB stick to the front here, you can record audio files directly onto USB stick, which means that you can then share those with friends or family or upload them to the internet. Um, so both Bluetooth and the onboard recording facilities make this a very, very flexible instrument. So another favorite feature of mine on the ES920 is the rhythm section. And what this means is that as well as there being a standard metronome that goes tick tock, tick tock, there's actually a, a rhythm section and, and there are a hundred different drum rhythms built in, each with two variations. So it makes practicing much more fun. So you can play along with the sound of a drummer. But in addition to that, there is an automatic bass line as well, which will look at what you're playing on the keyboard and play an appropriate bass line. And you can put it into another mode and it will give you four part automatic accompaniment as well. So it'll bring in guitars and a few other voices as well in the background. So in this first example, what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna play some piano with drums. Then I'm gonna bring in the bass line as well. And just, just take a listen. So it's really great fun playing along with the rhythms. So I'm gonna just show you a different rhythm now. What I'm gonna do in this example is play the piano with the drums, then I'm gonna bring in the automatic bass, and then I'm going to change the variation on the rhythm as well, and just have a listen to how it changes the, the feel of the music.
So let's just take a look at the rear panel and the connections of the ES920. First of all, here we have our power input socket there. And then just underneath there, you have quarter inch jack outputs, which are ideal for going to external amplification, at which shows that the ES920 is uh, aimed at the semi-professional market as well as the home market. This is useful. You've got an on-off switch for the speakers here. We have a USB port here to go to a computer or a tablet device if you don't want to use um, Bluetooth. We have a little line input here as well. So this is like an auxiliary in. So if you want to use a cable connection from your mobile phone or even let's say a CD player, if you wanted to, you could plug it in there. Um, you've got the damper pedal input here. You've got traditional MIDI five pin in inputs and outputs. And then here we have this multi-pin socket and that is for the Kawai F302 triple damper pedal, which um, is the correct pedal to go with the ES920. So the ES920 is available in two different colors. You've got the black and you also have a satin white finish as well. And both models have the optional wooden stand and triple pedal unit as well. So if you're looking for something that looks nice and modern in your home um, without taking up too much space, then the wooden stand and pedals really set this instrument off in your home. It looks really, really nice. Bonners offers various packages uh, for the ES920. So if you need something with a soft padded bag and a, and a decent stand for carrying around with you, then uh, take a look on our website. We offer lots of different variations, but also give us a ring because we can tailor make a package for you that suits your particular needs needs. So that brings me to the end of my ES920 demonstration. I hope you've enjoyed it. I've certainly enjoyed playing it. It's a really, really great instrument to play. So like I say, if you'd like to come and try one for yourself before you buy, then come along to one of Bonner's stores, or you can order directly online from the links in the uh, description below this movie. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in another one of my piano demonstration movies.